during the fight, there are these eight, eight four, a four close up, four more far away, these creepy guys that circle the fight, but I don't mm -hmm. understand why they're there. Okay, so he's like, look everyone, I'm super tough. I'm not gonna need a shield. I'm gonna get you, fight you one on one. But then there's also these four, these four guys close mm -hmm. up, four more far away, that circle and like, you put pressure on him. Ooh. And as soon as they do something, he's like, Burr, back up, back up. Like, but you knew they were there. Just tell mm -hmm. them right from the start. Be like, back up. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone just back up. Right? Uh, so I see it, but my question, I'm putting myself in the shoes of these creepy people with the bat Of these heads. guys? <laughs> these? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The bat head guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, whose orders are they following? So if... The nephew dies and they did nothing. They're gonna be like, okay. you weren't doing your job. That's what not are you good. doing? And what is your job? Your job is to, if the bad person, I mean the person fighting the nephew starts to win, weaken him a little bit, give him a little so that he doesn't, he gets weak and then he loses so that the nephew can win. But okay. if the nephew dies and you did nothing, they'll be like, you're an idiot die but to execute you okay yeah i guess that is the job of these creepy guys so there's like mm -hmm. competing competing priorities because this guy wants to not die yeah. <laughs> not be killed by the by the emperor or not the emperor the the head harkonnen guy yeah i mean he's not in a situation where he needs so this guy is not in a situation where he needs to engage yet because because this guy he's he's winning already like he didn't have to jump in there Gosh, but the nephew is improvising, and now the the creepy guy has to improvise along with it's him, and he doesn't. They're not on the same page. So get on the same page, and the nephew needs to be like, back up, don't interfere. But is the nephew in charge? So if 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 the nephew is in charge, and the nephew dies, then no problem because he was in charge, right? It's it's if the nephew is not in charge, if the baron is in charge. Right, and then next he like, dies. Then this so, guy's in trouble. But the yeah, Baron so, is in charge, and the Baron's like, "Here's your man. Here's your test, nephew. Today you become a man. You have to kill someone that isn't drugged up. Mm -hmm. But also, here's a safety net." Yeah, and plus, it it might not come. The orders might not come directly from the Baron himself. It comes down through some sort of strange chain of command. And, and the creepy guy all he hears is, "Don't let the nephew die." So nephew says, "Back off!" But your orders are, "Don't let the nephew die." You're so, not in charge of me, kid. Right, You're literally so get, not my boss. <laughs> literally. So yeah, then yeah. he gives him a little, the enemy a little, ding, ding. and then that's it. And then they back off. I guess so. Felt weird. Still feels weird. But I, I see yeah. it. I see it because this guy has his own motivation. He's like a complete human on his own. Well, I guess we don't know. We're assuming the nephew should be the one in charge of the battlefield yeah. because he's yeah. the highest ranking on the battlefield. But... But it's not a battlefield. It's a it's, it's a, a theater. It's like a it's like a show. It's a performance. Right. A... <sighs> See, this is little people get caught up in the politics of the big houses, and we forget about them. Heartwarming. I don't care. Okay. Dehumanize. Dehumanize. <laughs>